Hi, today I'm going to show you how to define reinforcement for the layer method and for the Bauman method in one file and perform the design of quad elements. My name is George Schmidt and you can find me at Sophistic, who is a leading supplier for software for analysis, design and detailing in the field of structural engineering and for whom I am working as a consultant engineer. Okay, so let's get started uh, today's uh, video, today's episode. So basically, I have created two uh, groups of quad elements. As you can see, group one for the layer method and group two for the Bauman method. The file itself is uh, a 2D system, as you can see. And let's get quickly export this model. Then in SSD, we can see these uh, two groups as well. If we go to the system visualization, maybe we can turn off uh, the thickness of the quad elements not to disturb us. OK, um, I forgot to mention that basically we have two load cases. In load case 901, I have a 5 kN per square meter uniformly distributed area load. And in load case 902, I have 4 kN per square meter. Uh, UDL load uh, for both of the uh, quad elements. Um, I'm just going to simply run the linear analysis and the superposition task to have the superimposed maximum internal forces for the quad groups. So I'm going to the home menu, going to the calculation tab, and just simply going to run the linear analysis and the maxima. And when uh, the internal forces are available, then I'm going to go for the first chapter uh, in which I'm going to define reinforcement for the Bauman method. So here uh, we can find the normal or regular, regular or standard definition of the reinforcement. Here it is possible to define two upper uh, layer reinforcement and two uh, bottom layer reinforcement. What is important to notice is uh, this uh, para command, which means parameter for the reinforcement. And in the first line, I'm defining uh, reinforcement for all of the groups. And when I set du0, it means, it means that I'm setting the diameter for the upper reinforcement to be equal with 0. With this input here, du0, actually I am uh, turn off uh, the design of the groups that I'm defining in the add OG option. And the minus means that all of the uh, quad elements in all of the groups will be uh, turned off for the design. However, in the next input line, I'm going to uh, define uh, some reinforcement for group number two with the same para command and with the NOG option, where I set the upper reinforcement to be equal with six millimeter in diameter and the lower reinforcement to be equal with eight millimeter uh, in diameter. And I have also defined some other parameters, for example, for the uh, crack width and some minimum amount of reinforcement for the upper reinforcement and for the lower reinforcement. Okay, let's get run this task and then have a look at the prescribed reinforcement in WinGraph. If you go now to WinGraph, then you can uh, see in the system values and quadrilateral elements and prescribed reinforcement. And if I, go, if I open, for example, the diameter of prescribed reinforcement, you will see that only in this group, uh, the parameters of the reinforcement are, uh, is available. For example, for the upper principal reinforcement layer, the upper cross reinforcement layer, the lower principal reinforcement layer, and the lower cross reinforcement layer. Please notice that the other group doesn't contain any information regarding reinforcement. It means that uh, there is no assigned reinforcement for this group. Okay, this is what I wanted, so I'm very happy now. And I just simply perform uh, the ULS check of the design elements and the SLS check of the design element. 
design elements simply choosing these two tasks and uh, run them and for the ULS analysis I have stored uh, the resulting reinforcement distribution in case number one as you can see here and for the SLS I am storing the reinforcement distribution in case number two. So if I'm going to WinGraph now, and this time I'm going to design quadrilateral elements reinforcement, and I'm just going to look at the lower principal reinforcement that I can see, for example, from the uh, applied load, I need four centimeter square per meter in the longitudinal direction, and in the lower cross reinforcement, I see some very small amount of uh, reinforcement. Okay, and please also notice that in this case uh, the upper uh, quad elements are not designed. Very well, this is what I wanted. Now let's make uh, the multi-layer design for the other group of uh, elements. So here for the uh, layer method, you need to use the multi-layer definition of the reinforcement. This is possible with the layer command. Here, basically, you have the possibility to, do, to define not just two upper and lower layers, uh, but altogether uh, 12 layers of reinforcement, six for the lower reinforcement, and six layers for the upper reinforcement. And this is what I'm doing here. So actually, First, for all of the groups, again with this para and minus, I'm defining all of the groups, uh, some reinforcement. And then in the para command, only for group number two, I am setting the D value, so the diameter of the reinforcement zero for every layer. And this is affecting that actually the quad elements in group number two will not be designed. So it is very similar like we saw in the normal reinforcement definition. When we set the du value to zero, then the uh, quad elements in that specific group were not designed. Here it is working in a very similar manner. You need to enter a zero value for the diameter of the reinforcement in the upper or the lower layers, and then uh, the group will not be designed. Okay, let's uh, perform it and have a look at it in the graph. Let's go back to the system values. And what we will find here, that actually the prescribed reinforcement disappeared from the system values. Why is it that? Because I have performed a new reinforcement definition and this new reinforcement definition just overwrote the previously defined normal reinforcement definition. And at the current status of the software, the multi-layer reinforcement cannot be presented in WinCraft. But it doesn't really matter because still uh, the design can be performed. So if I'm going to just simply perform the same ULS and SLS check according to the layer design. And I'm going back to WinCraft. Then you will see that really a new chapter appeared in the design quadrilateral elements multi-layer design and here I can check for example the lower reinforcement layer number one in uh, case 11 oh yes I have forgot to mention that basically in this uh, ULS case I'm going to store uh, the result in case number 11 and for the ULS check, I'm going to store the results in case number 12. So according to this definition, I can choose the ULS case 
in the multi-layer design and I can have a look at the reinforcement and really I have two centimeter square per meter in the first uh, lower reinforcement layer and then in the third reinforcement layer I have an other two centimeter square per meter so if I add it together it's four centimeter square uh, per meter run which is exactly the same which I received in the normal uh, Bauman procedure if I'm looking at again the lower principal reinforcement in design case number one you can see that we need four centimeter square per meter and the reason, the only reason why I was getting 2 plus 2 centimeter square per meter run in the layer design is that I have defined a maximum uh, reinforcement to be equal with 2 centimeter square per meter for the lower layers. And that's why the 4 centimeter, the required 4 centimeter square per meter amount can be put together from two reinforcement layers. Okay, so that concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Bye.